I'm Dr. Rivera. I'm a resident physician in emergency medicine at Stanford, and I'm the CEO of SimX. I brought with me Dr. Shree. He's an emergency medicine doc at UCSF and our chief medical officer. Now, being an emergency medicine doc is stressful. We make life or death decisions every day at a moment's notice. And so every couple weeks, we go down to the Sim Center and we run medical simulation cases around what are essentially big CPR dummies. But they cost up to half a million dollars each. So I went to Meron and we realized if we can build these dummies in holographic form, it would be drastically cheaper and so obviously functionally superior. It, instead of just your average athletic white guy in his mid-twenties that's represented by every other simulation dummy, your virtual patient can be a baby. They can be a grandmother. They can be obese. They can be vomiting or missing limbs. Your patient can be pregnant and could give birth over the course of your simulation. And that's very doable with a holographic patient, but would be impossible with a physical simulation dummy. We just made medical simulation a hundred times cheaper for each of the quarter of a million medical trainees in this country. And now we're going to show you how we did it. Now, imagine for a moment you're in a busy emergency department. A frantic mother brings her daughter into the ED after she fell in the park. Say that she hit her head on a pole, now she's got a terrible splitting headache. So Dr. Shri here is going to take a quick history and then he is going to determine if she has any serious injuries. Now while he does this, we're going to watch all of it on a live feed. Hey kiddo, I'm just going to do a quick exam. Does your head hurt? Hmm. All right. Does anything else hurt? Good, good. All right. Looking up at my vital signs monitor, I see her heart rate stable. She's obviously alert. Now to examine the chest. So now Dr. Shri takes the same stethoscope that he uses to treat real patients every day to listen for heart sounds on his virtual patient. First, at the aortic valve. With the ability to physically interact with holographic objects, physicians don't have to pretend. That's the beauty of an augmented reality medical simulation system. They can actually evaluate real patients using real tools that they use every day in the hospital to get real responses. Going back to our scenario, Dr. Shri is going to take an actual ultrasound probe to look for internal bleeding. I can see the kidney, and there's no blood in the belly. Now I'm going to look at the heart. Looking at the heart, I see no blood surrounding the heart, and the heartbeat looks normal. Now to look at the rest. Oh, Dr. Ribeiro, we've got a situation. The patient appears to be having a seizure. I need five milligrams of imidazolam stat. Drawing up five milligrams of midazolam. Her heart's racing, her breathing's erratic, we need that in right now. Okay, I'll deliver it to her thigh. Okay, patient looks stable, she's no longer seizing, vital signs are back to normal. Great work. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Amazing, right? The opportunity that we have to save lives with this technology.